Right. I'm going to hit a few shares out if I can do that as well. Yeah, definitely. Get that done. I'll, uh, I'll get it started. There we are. We are now live. Live for our first ever broadcast of Bullets and Banters Gaming Podcast. Welcome, everybody. Um, Yo, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, so we'll start off with the introductions. So uh, I'm Peter, a.k.a. Digi Pete, a streamer on Facebook. And with me today is a good friend of mine. Do you like to introduce himself? I'm Dr. Beard. Let's go. No one me is Martin Thompson, or the, a.k.a. Dr. Beard Gaming. You'll see me on Facebook Live. Oh, God. Hello, Poppy. Um, right. So uh, we just had this absolutely nuts idea that uh, we do a lot of, obviously, presenting on Facebook with our um, uh, streaming platforms that we already put out there at the moment. And we want. We just thought there was there was something else that we could do, something else that we could do to share the experiences um, and the, all the gaming experience that we've done and the streaming, etc., uh, through our through our lives. And we just thought a podcast was the absolute perfect way that we could just share the love and joy that we've got for gaming um, to what is such a large audience across the world. Um, but yeah, I just we, it's been a few months in the making, but we're finally here. Um, it'll be a progress as we go through, um, but it's literally just we're going to sit here, talk and discuss games that we currently play, games that are possibly coming up in the future, uh, and whether that be good or bad, we'll, we'll discuss it all. Um, and today's topic uh, is going to be quite a big topic, especially at the moment Ooh. with everything that's going on. Yeah, uh, I think we're going to start off talking about it. Good old Warzone, really. Let's just, we'll, we'll start with what we know. Yeah, so a bit, a bit of Warzone, a bit of Call of Duty, Activision, Xbox, a bit of background on a few bits and bobs, um, and a bit of what we believe, how we see Warzone at the moment, uh, what we would like to see from it in the future, especially, obviously, there's only a couple of days till the, um, the actual uh, Season 2 update comes out. Um, so there's a lot been going on. There's a lot got to happen. Uh, and to be honest, it gives a lot to talk about. Uh, and we could discuss it here now. Um, we'll try and pick up bits that come off in the chat as well. So if anybody's got anything that they want to uh, stick their two pence in worth in, then give us a shout, let us know. Uh, we'll see if we can we can pick up on it and, and put it into the conversation. If not, we'll, we'll maybe see if we've got time to uh, get through some of the comments near the end. Um, but don't be shy. Uh, get them in there and don't forget to put the explanation notify so you can follow us for uh, the rest of the podcasts that are going to be coming out um so right let me just get this up man and I, I so i sat here for for a little while uh prior to us coming on um, and put a, a few notes together because i've been searching the good old uh, uh w, www world wide web um, to get a few bits and bobs um, yeah, and I think the I think the first thing we should, we talk about obviously as we were saying Warzone um, and the new map. So we've moved. Yeah, this new game Warzone. No, I'm wrong. <laughs> yeah. Well, it it feels it genuinely feels like a new game. It does. Yeah. Oh, I mean, it does, yeah. To be fair, you know what, it was funny because I was talking about this yesterday uh, to somebody, and I was saying like Warzone Two, right? That's going to be like coming up potentially whenever that might be, right? But the, it's been mentioned, and it's like. When you have a first game or something and a second game, they're distinctly different. Now, if you look at Warzone now compared to what it was when it came out before, it's not even the same game in the slightest. So Warzone 2 might as well still be Warzone 1, do you know what I mean? Unless they're going to, like, yeah, the two versions. But, like, I, I just can't see them doing that. Well, I think because they did... I mean, they learned a lot from Blackout, didn't they? Uh, when they did Blackout yeah. and Blackout Sport. Well, but Blackout was done by different people, though, wasn't it? it yeah. Was the, um, yeah. Yeah, but, I mean, the construction of how it's going to integrate into Warzone, well, into, into Call of Duty, bringing, obviously, the, 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 um, the ergonomics of, of how Call of Duty works and bringing that into a battle royale. Uh, overall, Call of Duty... Because they would have they would have had that. Um, and they'll have an understanding they would have learned from that and obviously with the other ones that are out as well so PUBG, Fortnite um, and all the other small ones that are there in the background um, they would have learned a lot from that and I think and overall I think with Verdansk um, I think they did a good job yeah yeah they did oh, yeah, Verdansk was amazing that was like I mean it's mad, mad isn't it because we were all kind of like anticipating the new map we were all thinking oh get in there we want this change we want that change but it's like you you don't realise what you got until it's gone. And, uh, 
I, I couldn't, it, I couldn't agree more with that statement. I, it's th- like, oh shit, we really want Verdansk back, man. We really need it back. <laughs> yeah, and you, it, it's just absolutely mental. Like the obviously the, the kernel for 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 Caldera that that you, you break it down, it, it is literally just um, um, Verdansk. That's what it is in the bottom yeah, of it. Yeah. That's what exactly what it is. Um, but the the difference, and I, I think even the slight movement, I think the, I think they've altered the movement slightly as well. Um, and the gun, the guns, yeah, I think so. I just don't. I, it doesn't move the same for me because no. obviously now you can get over, you can get over like, higher points. Do you know what I mean like higher cliffs, higher ledges? Um, but then going, I think slider, sl- sliding's changed. I think that I think that's more difficult to do, especially if you're going downhill. Um, if there's, if there's yeah. I don't think the mechanics have changed at all. At least I, 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 not not great deal. I don't think they've like massively changed. I like completely mashed it up. I just think, me personally, I mean, for my my own gameplay, the way that I work, I just think it it, it moves a little bit slightly different. Um, yeah. It could just be because I just I, I'm not overly keen on card either. I just might be finding excuses to I think, slag it off. Uh, <laughs> I think that's it. I mean, it's a popular. I think it's a popular opinion that Caldera is not very good. Uh, um. You know what I mean? Uh, you've seen the the game trends. So many people now play Rebirth compared to before. Yeah. Like you had people who played Rebirth anyway, but there's some streamers I never ever saw playing Rebirth, and yet now that's pretty much all they're playing. There's got to be a reason for that. Do you know what I mean? I see everyone doesn't matter what graphics card you're running, what system you're running, what rig, whatever. Everyone's like, I can't see where I'm being shot from. That's like a common thing. Yeah. I mean, just a map of green trees and brown things. Well, and Blend, you know. I've heard a lot of people stating how good, and I can't disagree with it, how good the graphics are on Caldera. I think the graphics yeah. are, are better than what they were on Verdansk, but I think there's more to see as well. There was a lot more buildings on, on Verdansk, a lot more walls, etc. Do you know what I mean? It's not, a, it's not a huge visual attraction for the eyes, whereas obviously yeah. in Caldera you've got the, a lot of the, the, the jungle type like trees and open plains and all that. Um, yeah, yeah, and and obviously that just the graphics on it are, are are much better. But as a visual representation of seeing somebody within what they've in, in those in those open plains with the trees, the rocks, and all that, I just think it is so difficult yeah. when you're getting shot and you turn around and you're like, where in the world does that come from? Yeah, it's just mad. I mean, we've got Poppy Gaming here coming in. She's uh, saying the graphics are beautiful. I think she's pretty much right there, what you're saying. And she also says Caldera suckies. So, yeah, I think it's, uh, uh, yeah, it's a popular opinion. I think that's definitely definitely the crack with it. I mean, I liked it. When it first came out, I liked it. It was a great... Do you know what it is? I was always sceptical about full Pacific map. I knew it would be the way it is. I knew it would be nothing but pretty much jungle. Yeah. Kind of imagery, you know what I mean? Because let's face it, that's, that's what it is in the World War Two time. You know, that's what you know, based on the previous games anyway. That's what it always was. So I kind of, I was always skeptical of it. But when it came out, I wasn't too bad at it. I thought, you know what, I'm actually getting my kills were up compared to like Verdansk. I was doing quite well. I felt, and it was, I was enjoying the 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 game a bit. Um, but then just as the game started to settle in and a few updates here and there and I was getting a lot of frame drops and problems with it and it's just, I don't know, it just doesn't run smooth now, you know, and it's, it, I don't you, know. You, you it, say people, have changed, people have changed their play style as well. People are starting to get used to it and it is campier. Definitely campier. Yeah. Than used to. But it, as, as Rich T says there, just too much open space in Caldera. I, 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 think, I, I, think, yeah. I think there is, I think there is far too, and, the, the the issue is we're looking at it from what we previously had as well, and that's the problem. The Dansk uh, had very little, really, like open, massive open spaces. You wouldn't even really you, your circles would probably ninety percent of the time have some sort of building in them uh, on the on the final near the final circles. Whereas now yeah. in Caldera, the chances are you're going to be out in the open ground. You're going to be trying to hide behind a tree, hide behind yeah. a rock, um, or lay lay down in a bush somewhere. I mean, and, and and again, you're in that position where it's difficult to see people. Yeah, it's the, angles it. the angles are just insane on it, aren't they? That's yeah. The thing. Um. Yeah, they're just they're just mad. But uh, I don't know. It's it's 
they also they they broken it to bits. I don't know, like a lot of people having frame drop issues and things, you know. Have you have you tried it on an Xbox? Oh, I have, yeah, yeah. My yeah. Xbox can't keep up with it at all. <laughs> I I I, uh, I tried it before they came back as well, and um, before they came back off off um, Christmas leave and that, and started putting more patch notes out. I tried it before then. I literally I couldn't get through a game. I just turned the Xbox yeah. off. Uh, I mean, I Poppy, like, Poppy's just come in there and she said, uh, she mentioned about the hackers and how the anti-cheat was there. And I actually, you know, thinking about it, this new season was completely sold off the back of an anti-cheat coming out. You know, that was the thing that really was riding, uh, or the, the big selling tactic for, for Caldera, wasn't it? It was like, yeah. oh, this anti-cheat's coming in, Raven Software are going to release this. And then everyone was kind of like, yeah, it's going to be good again, you know what I mean? But then, you know... <sighs> Come the problems with the map, yeah, fair enough. People's going through those teething issues, and then all of a sudden, trucks are flying around. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> you having, drop them back in the gulag, like, and there's a car next to you driving around, and somebody on top of it shoot people. It's like, what the hell's going on here? Like, that never happened in the dance, so it's almost like the hackers have just gone, yeah, let's show them, and we'll uh, they're stepping up a notch, you know what I mean? Yeah, next they'll bring in, I don't know, so. <laughs> They're getting creative. I'll give them that. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 yeah. I, well, I loved all the all the um, people just putting out the things like, oh, Hogwarts and Harry Potter, uh, World, uh, uh, Call of Duty, Harry Potter, and all that. It was just so funny. And then watching yeah. it with like just three people stood on a car and flying about a map. It was just absolutely bananas. Yeah. On. It's the, bad. The... I mean, sorry. What? Go on, go on, yeah. I was just gonna say, Richard mentioned the airframe drop is everyone issue. I mean, I think as well that touching upon that, like. I know I was having problems. I didn't know if it was my card or not. I have seen improvements since I've upgraded my graphics card, but there still is the odd drops, and I think it's just related to the game servers. I mean, Average Dad, for example, as well, another you know streamer who he's done really well for himself. He's running a dual system with thirty nineties in. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. He's he's got brilliant internet, so he is one of these people who should not have problems. Yet you watch his stream and he's complaining of of frame drops and. Skip free, you know, he gets just those same issues that we all seem to be. You know, I mean, if someone like him is getting those problems, clearly something's well, wrong. Well, obviously, the, the, <laughs> they've admitted it now, haven't they? So, uh, in an activation, so I've this is I pulled this straight off the internet. In an activation hosted call with press and content creators, Infinity Ward, Core Studio Head, Pat Kelly, Activision game creator Josh Bridge, and Raven Software's Eric Beesman candidly discussed the problems and their plans to fix them. During the call, the trio bluntly stated, we effed this stuff up, but made promises yeah. that these would be addressed throughout the year. So, I mean, they, they can't really say much else, to be honest. I, if they come out and like, oh, it's not that bad, then they were just going to get absolutely slated, weren't they? Um, yeah. Uh, they, they can't say anything else. They have to, but following on from what they had, as a base, like, yeah, it had cheats and that in it, um, and it would have its it, it snags and do you know what I mean? But nothing compared to what happened in Caldera. So the, the 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 bugs with the guns and the, uh, what do you call it? Um, the camouflage on the guns uh, absolutely messing that up. But that even took it in a, a rebirth as well. The skin glitch where you got a, that level 100 skin glitch and all you could see was basically maybe a bit of the hands, maybe a slightly bit of outline yeah, yeah. Um, after 30 metres. Um, obviously then... Mad. They're saying that they've got this uh, ricochet anti-cheating, which obviously isn't working, or people are finding ways to get around it quite quite easily. Uh, I mean, supposedly it was leaked before even Caldera come out, wasn't it, as well? Um, which, if it was, then that already put them on the back foot anyway, which is slightly unfair, but then they, they, they earn a lot of money from this. Do you know what I mean? They, they, yeah. should, be, they should be held accountable and being able to and having to fix this and saying if they're going to do something do yeah, it yeah i mean uh richard just mentioned there it'd be interesting to see what uh season two has in store for us and that comes out on monday so what is everyone wanting to see i mean that's the question what are you what are you want to see peter right so again see? uh well there's a there's there's a lot of changes coming in with this isn't there um and I think one of the big positive points from this is that the the up the already making changes to the map. Now in Verdansk, we had to wait quite a substantial, quite a few number of seasons before they actually started making like large scale changes to the map. Um, but sometimes yeah. it was it, there was there was like they were probably too big. Do you know what I mean smashing down half of the half of the map and putting big 
uh, fracture lines for it. It's probably, I think it's a little bit too big. Um, but I think yeah. what, the, the way they're going to go around it this season, what all with the hog of Caldera, hopefully, is is small incremental changes that hopefully will then have a positive. Because if, if, it, if it doesn't have a positive effect, they could just go, well, what we'll do is we'll just move that or we'll change it yeah. or modify yeah. it. We can do we could do a quick patch update, change that piece, or take it out. Help, I can't help feel, though, they're going to be a little bit out of ideas because from what I've seen, there's going to be uh, there's bunkers, isn't there? There's bunkers placed around. Um, yeah. You know, Caldera. I think so. We've got some parts of the map which are likely going to open up. There's going to be some more underground um, systems, maybe. Yeah. But we've we've been there and done that. You know, it's nothing new. I mean. Well, obviously the the I big. I think that's going to really make a big difference to this map. Do you know what I mean? It's like remember the season when Cold War came out and the dance changed. It wasn't huge, but there was some. Decent changes, you know. Yeah. Not, but I don't know. I can't see. There's nothing on that scale going to happen on season two, in my opinion. Well, I, I mean, there's a couple of changes that are coming in that I think could uh, be either positive or negative. Um. <clears throat> so, well, probably three. So we'll go with what I think could be quite a large one. So the new bomber planes that are coming in that supposedly yeah. can destroy uh, your loadout boxes. Yeah. And. Yeah, and, and Stations on buy stations, it? right? So yeah. you're gonna get some absolute like anarchists that just want to destroy the game for everybody. And to be honest, oh, yeah. this I, game's gonna get. A I'll probably be one of them because I'll go and do it and see what it's gonna be like for the enjoyment. Um, but yeah, those bombers, people are gonna jump straight on them and they're gonna go and destroy the buy stations. What's it gonna yeah. be like, right? If you've got the whole map, they could do it. How how quick is it? We don't know. Like, it, does it take one bomb, two bomb, ten bombs? You know what I mean? That's another thing. Could you literally just thing. drop one bomb on it and then before well, even Circle 1's like, closed in, you could have no buy stations on the map? That's, I mean, that's it. Quickly get your load out and blow everyone else's up. So yeah. Probably on for the win. Yeah. <laughs> New tactic. <laughs> Season 2. Well, you could do that, couldn't you? You could put thermal scopes on. Uh, and no... I mean, if that's a you could probably just put a C4 on the ground and it'll fucking blow the, the plane right up in the air. You know what I mean? It'll probably <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fair, well, you could just take you. The, the, the hackers will just take the cars up and shoot them out of the plane. That's it. I just yeah. I start crashing into trucks and that, flying them up, no bother. Oh, I tell you what, I always uh, was worried about when the hackers got all of the planes. I'm glad they took that out. Um, you know, the planes before, which they already pretty much had uh, aim assist on to the point yeah. where, yeah, could you imagine them in the hackers' hands? Well, they've already, they've, yeah. uh, the, in the, one of the latest patches, they've already uh, updated the aim assist to make it better on the plane for people that were like, against infantry in the sky. Yeah. Because yeah. it wasn't strong enough. So they've uh, upped that, so they've, they've buffed it. Oh, so. That's it. Um, Pop mentioning there as well, like in the conversation with the with Richard, we're talk, they're talking about like I think the whole team can sit in these planes, can't they? I don't know. Is that right? I don't. I don't I'm know. Sure, I'm, I'm sure I heard that. You know, I'm sure it's going to be a case a whole team can get in these planes, like four seated plane. So you know what I mean? You, you, I don't know. Like I think we're going to see some of that. Ha, ha, half a bomb, probably said. Half a bomb will destroy a a a, 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 a buy station. Uh, it'll, be a joy. it'll be interesting and fun something new I guess I mean I'm looking forward to seeing what it is but I guess we're just kind of talking it in a bit of a negative light cause we... yeah because because of all the issues <laughs> that we've had previously in chances the are as well they they really they, they're going to put this in and what they're going to break in the process yes I, any moment stim glitches <clears throat> are coming back you know skin glitches stim glitches and well, the, there's another one as well in there I was sort of the, there's two things that are going to have got something to do with gas so they've got the Nebula 5 ammo and kill streak, which is basically, yeah, yeah. I think it's some sort of suitcase that you can activate in it, and it then puts out this like massive gas, um, yeah, yeah. whatever you want to call it, gas cloud, um, and it's going to stay for a couple of minutes. Now, how big is it? I don't know. Is it is it going to take up? So if you've got one in the final circle, how much of the final circle are you going to take out? Uh -huh. um, so the size of it, obviously, we'll, we'll learn that as, as, as probably from Monday, uh, one once the uh, update comes out. Um, yeah. But supposedly they're going to be quite difficult to get hold of, um, so they're not going to be like as pertinent on the on the map as what maybe like def, uh, Dead Silence is. Um, yep. Portable decontamination stations as well. So you can use these um, to decontaminate yourself from the gas. 
Now, I had to research this because the first thing I thought of, what, what pops to your head, Martin, when you think of you can, you can decontaminate against yourself against gas. So basically being, beating gas for maybe, I think, I think it was maybe 30 seconds or something. Might be less, but what's the first thing that pops in your head? What would you use it for? Uh, pretty much the end game. The end game, wouldn't you? So you'd be in the, yeah. in the last bit of gas, you'd just stay in it um, and, and try and pick them off from the outside or something. But, because yeah. I was like, that's what I thought, you were going to use it in the actual main gas. You're not going to use it against the nebula um, or anything like that. You'd use it against the, the, the end game or the, the something near the final play. Um, but actually, it's not going to work like that. So yeah. these devices impact all operator tactical maps, allowing everyone to see where they are currently activated and then they can be destroyed by explosives or ballistics. Yeah. So when you activate one, um, it'll pop up on the map. Everybody can see it on the map where it is, and they can that can be uh, deactivated. So you could obviously just throw grenades and whatnot at it. Um, but obviously, you'll know there's somebody there as well. Um, yeah. You better shoot across. So that's something positive to thought about, rather than just chucking it in the game, and then it's going to cause mayhem near the end game and that. Mm. Uh, I, I quite like that. Yeah, we'll, we'll see how it changes the dynamics, I guess. I'm glad they finally changed the beginning game, though. Christ, uh, the loadout situation, you know? Yes. I, I mean, I don't know what people think about that, but I, I hate that. I absolutely hated it. You know, it just was so boring. You, you'd run around, get some money, maybe get a UAV. There wasn't an immediate team to fight with. You were just done, like, running around. and. I, I think the biggest frustrating <laughs> frustration from that was... The, the actual amount of money that was available on the ground, especially if you had, I, I, even as a singular player, if you drop in, a, you could easily get enough money to buy a loadout within probably 30 seconds to a minute of being on the ground. Yeah. And you could be at a buy station buying a loadout. And that was probably the most infuriating. If there was little money about and you were struggling to get to the 10 grand anyway, and it's probably taking you to close to the f end of the first circle anyways to get the money, then it wouldn't have felt so bad. Um, yeah. Because the ground loot, truthfully, the ground loot wasn't that bad. Do you know what I mean? You were getting your STGs, you were getting your Brens, oh, yeah, your MP40s right. and all that. Like, and and that's, what, that's what we were getting out in the loadouts anyway. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah. personally, I, I, I wasn't overly too fussed about it, but I, understand, yeah. I, un I did understand the frustrations. Uh, Poppy says she's looking forward to the new rebirth, uh, World War II. So, is that coming, do we think, in... This new season update, or do you think that's so, a World War Two kind of deal? Or... Ju just before we jump onto that, uh, I've just got one little thing about the new season as well that redeploy balloons. So have you, have you, have you, you played Ark before, haven't you? And uh, not Ark. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, the other battle royale mode that okay. uh, EA okay. games. Uh, oh, I forgot what it's called. The EA games battle royale. Uh, anyways, right. So they've got these, they've got these um, balloons on there as well. So basically, you just slide up the pole to the top of the balloon, and then you come off. Oh, and it's then not you apex. Can... apex. Apex. That's the one. Yeah, yeah. Could I help remember the name there? Yeah. So this <laughs> is the, the this is ripped straight out of Apex. This yeah, they've yeah. been in Apex since the beginning. Poppy there coming in Apex. Cheers, Poppy. Um, yeah, I, and I think that's gonna that's gonna put a whole different perspective on it, especially because. Are people going to use them at the beginning? Probably they will. But you, as soon as you start learning where they are, right, you're going to be thinking about people coming in above you, dropping in behind you, and you can easily take people out the sky quite easily. Oh, yeah, ah, yeah. I, seen, I remember seeing something about them because, like, teams and that way, but to hold on to them and transport along the map, weren't they? Yeah, so basically, just sh it'll shoot you up in the air and then you yeah, can yeah, free yeah. fall again or put your parachute out and go oh, a distance. The only is I feel like they're going to move a little bit towards uh, uh, Blackout kind of like gameplay because that was very... Uh, yeah. That was very... Do you know what I mean? Like, uh, it, that was... Um, I don't know. It, it was just different. It was more jump around and... Yeah. Almost kind of semi-futuristic in a way with the way you had the catapulty things you could move around and stuff. But I don't know. It was a different game. Completely different game. I don't know if that would work. Well, I'm um, I'm dubious on it, I, but again, knowing you were saying like they're running out of ideas, and I, yeah, and, and yeah. when they're just pulling some of that, that's where, oh, that's where maybe Warzone Two could come in because that's what actually rather than change this one too much, keep it for what it is, make the tweaks to the maps fine, but then maybe on the Warzone Two front, kind of make it a bit more 
Well, I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll, obviously, we'll discuss that in a second anyway. I mean, obviously, we're probably on about uh, Rebirth there. Um, yeah. Cause... What we what we thinking for this new map then? What we thinking? Because uh, she's, I think, we're, um, we're probably saying it'll come middle of the season. So she's saying that Rebirth's going to come out on Monday. And then I believe what she means is in mid-season changeover, you know, how they do a few so... map updates nerfs and etc uh, they're going to then potentially bring it in then is that what she's suggesting do you think yeah i think so because again obviously i've been looking into it um, and what when they're expecting it is going to be the mid-season update so somewhere around about the second half of march uh, yeah, we've yeah. had a slight delay in obviously this one coming in because this was meant to be in these season two update it was meant to be beginning at the beginning of february um, but first, knew... I think, wasn't it second? Second, it was supposed to be, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and obviously they knew they had so many, so many problems, um, that they needed to try and rectify it before they moved on to. Because you know, as you said earlier, that the problems that they're going to bring in when they bring this new season in, that we know they're going to, because they've done it on every season. Yeah. Um, yeah. And it, it won't take long for people to figure that out, and then we'll start seeing all the videos of all the random glitches. Uh, well, it keeps probably... content creators in business. <laughs> yes, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, uh, uh, that is a true fact. It is a video true idea. Fact. Video idea. Um, <laughs> um, so obviously, but uh, yeah. So it... map then. What do we think? Or what do we think, Boris? Me. Think it's... Me. I, I... <sighs> I'm nervous. I'm nervous about it, right? Because truthfully, I like Rebirth Island, um, yeah, and true, it? it obviously has helped a lot still having that in the background with Caldera coming in because I, I've, I've, now we get to have two broken maps get yeah. in let's go no no that's not what we want it's not what we want <laughs> I do I had somebody the other day in my stream say oh they think it's going to be like a small section of Caldera's rebirth I was like I swear to god I will literally just sell my PC if that happens but I said I said that to you didn't I <laughs> uh, so I, I've seen uh, I've seen two videos um, and I think you're on about saying you've seen a third so the first one I've seen is a section of Caldera. I think it was um, uh, it was up near the like the docky type area. Do you know where they've got that huge building and they've got the basin where they're yeah, British yeah. obviously a shipping, um, yeah, yeah. A, a dry dock. I think it might be a section of that piece. That's what I saw so, the video I've seen. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be a section of Caldera at all. I, I, I hope it's not as well. I really think the distinction of having the two maps is the best way to do it. You always had uh, the dance and you had the Rebirth Island. They weren't the same. Um, don't get me wrong. I've not. I've not mind playing the the littler sections of the big maps sometimes, but I think it would just ruin it. I I have seen uh, a leak online, uh, and I believe they called it Hashima Island. Is that right? And I think yeah. it's it's very very similar to Rebirth Island as it is now, except rather than having one central high point, which is your prison, you've got two higher points more to the edge of the map. And it's more like a fort, a giant fort yard of that kind of island with some sections. And then there's like a lower bank on one side, I believe. So you kind of have a like an all uphill to two peaks. Uh, that looks quite interesting and it looks pretty good. And I'd, I really, I'm, as soon as I saw that picture, I'd be eager to play that one. And that, that sold it to me. I hope that's what it is, if I'm honest. I don't want it to be a section of the Caldera. You know, if I want to play that map, I play that map. <laughs> you know I, what I mean? Yeah, and I, I, I totally agree, right? But I just want to pick up on something that Poppy's just put here. Uh, control going to go back to construction low. Right? Honestly, I, I forgot, map, I all, forgot all about <laughs> construction, right? How I good was that little bit of map there? Yeah, yeah. Construction so with cool. the 10s yeah. was yeah. such a good bit of map. And I think, honestly, yeah. it, it, Control, as a building itself, I think it's pretty good. The, the amount of ways yeah. you can get round it, up it, over it, under it, um, I, people just can't camp it and, and hold it completely. Um, and I really like it. But my God, I miss construction. That was such a good little piece of uh, 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 of the corner of the map that works really well. Um, yeah. But yeah, I just, it just took me back there. I, I forgot all about construction. It was a great, it was, it was great. Ah, uh, that'll be the big reveal. Old New Island, it'll just be like the same map, but with construction back. It's a <laughs> bit like when Gdansk, Gdansk was like, whole new map. And then like, all it was is just a, a rejigged stadium and yeah. super stalk through horns. And uh, what else? I think that was about it, wasn't it, really? Yeah. <laughs> well, what was it? Yeah. Oh, whole New That's Island, here's some, here's some subways. Whole New Island, here's some caves that you can get into now through a door when you find out what the codes are. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, we've opened the stadium up now. Oh, now we've destroyed the stadium. Oh, now we've destroyed most of the map. 
I'll tell you what, mate. This just reminded me of a mint little video I saw over Christmas time. Uh, I've probably shared it with a few years. And it's this uh, guy, and he's standing in front of a whiteboard, and he's got his two teams of people working on wars on, right? And the guy's just kicking back. He's just eating a yogurt or some ink or whatever. And this lassie, she's proper focused on the, and get proving the game. And he's got this whiteboard, and he says, right, um... What what we think of the new season, right? We need to, and she's like, well, people are complaining of these glitches here and skin problems. We need to get those fixed. And he's like, mm. and then this other guy goes, Krampus, and he's like, yes, writes it on the board. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just, I I just I picture that every time. Now I'm pretty sure that's how these meetings go down. You know what I mean? It's like, ah, screw the existing problems. We'll just put some pointless crap in there. And, Hope for the best. Eh? It, it, it's just made, it's just made me think about uh, actual. You know when they do like the special events, like mainly yeah. Halloween. Remember Halloween, where the, yeah, obviously yeah. you'd have the ghosts and all that coming. How's the yeah, how yeah. would that work on Caldera, right? It's far too. You already can't obviously. see anyone is this, I know. Yeah, but it's not even that. How's it? You could. You you probably see the ghost coming though. I mean they glow, don't they? So you'd see that coming. If you just stood in the middle of the open fields, you and your team, nobody's gonna be able to get to you. Oh my god! Yes, Caldera in the dark. Could you imagine? Yeah. Even even worse. <laughs> <laughs> because that's what it would be. Yeah, yeah, it would be. Yeah. Oh man. Trying to look yeah. across this field in the pitch black, looking up at the mountain in the pitch black. Oh, Poppy was she she didn't like it when they destroyed stadium. That was uh, that was her spot. That was her spot. Tamper alert. <laughs> <laughs> Only playing. Ah, uh, yeah. I don't know. We'll be. We'll be interesting to see. Be interesting. But, yeah. So, I... so uh, there's two possibilities of what it's going to be. Maybe three. I think there was another one. Uh, I can't remember what it was at the moment. Uh, it might come to me. I'll, uh, if it comes out, I'll I'll try and pop it up. Um. Uh, but yeah, I I I agree with you. I just don't. Think, I think they should keep it away from Caldera. Oh. And when when they do replace it, they've got to be very careful because at the moment, Rebirth Island works very well. Yeah. Hashima, here we come. Let's go. That gets my vote. Let's go. Yeah, yeah definitely. Definitely Hashima over, uh, over, over, over Calvary. Right now. Let's get them told. <laughs> All right. Um, right. So, obviously, there's a lot of new stuff coming. Uh, so. That's as well, yeah. So it comes in, in two days, this update, right? And instead yep. of bringing it at the beginning of February, they decided, actually, what we're going to do is delay it by 12 days and give it here on Valentine's Day. Cheers. I mean, yeah. some people the probably aren't affected by that, but a lot of people probably uh, will be. Yeah. yeah, mainly single people and uh, pretty much just single people, yeah, are going to be playing uh, that. We'll, we'll get to watch them, I guess, on Monday. Um, <laughs> There's, uh, what else is it as well? There's, there's well, there's a uh, new, there's a new game mode coming in. Is there that uh, Iron Trials on Rebirth as well? That's coming as well. Isn't it? Oh yeah, yeah, Iron Trials. Yeah, oh. so uh, you know, Iron Trials. Do you know what it is? The TTK is the only bit that does me in about Iron Trials. I didn't mind it otherwise, but the TTK. Yeah. Because um, the. I, in, like, uh, I already. Yeah, it, it's just yeah, you're putting half a clip into somebody. It's like, why well, they're not dead yet. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, there's no need to increase it again. But like uh, your muscle, your muscle memory, and your instincts kind of are so like finely tuned to like the other modes that you, you in the moment you forget and you you hit them with half a clip and you're like, right, they're like one shot. You run in on them, turns out they're not, and they get you <laughs> <laughs> or something. Do you know what I mean? Like something yeah. silly. It's like, oh yeah, he actually still had like two thirds of his health. <laughs> yeah. Well, to be fair, to, when, when I first started playing uh, the new map. I found that because see when you shoot somebody naturally normally if you use if you've been using that gun as a repetition you, you know how many rounds you know when they're dead you'll be like shooting yeah. at them then you'll move away especially if you're trying to get more than one person you'll move off them exactly you, your brain's just like it, it, he's dead move on you know how many clips uh, how many rounds you put into him you know he's dead when yeah. I first started with Caldera that was off that it was totally off I just couldn't do it. I'd be shooting somebody, right? Move, thinking that they were dead, and then they just weren't dead. And I'm like, yeah, oh, yeah. he should have been dead. Like, why wasn't he dead? It, it, that aggravated the life out of me when it first came out. Um, so updates, uh, season two update coming on the fe February fourteenth. Uh, I think it's five p.m. Uh, uh, Greenwich Mean Time for us, and I think nine a.m. Uh, Pacific Time. Um, right. That late in the day. Yeah, that late in the day. Yeah. 
I guess it gives it. everyone time to get their updates done, though, because the update will come out earlier in the in the morning, I would think. Yeah, but yeah, you'd yeah. expect so at least uh, it'll well, be a playlist update. Like it'll be a playlist update of like I don't know, a couple of Meg ready to switch it over. That's what I think. So there's new maps coming on multiplayer, um, new modes coming on multiplayer, and obviously new content. Uh, so they've got Valentine's Day content drops. Uh, new vehicles, new zombies as well. So, uh, well, not new zombies, but new stuff for zombies. New maps, new enemies, uh, arenas, new weapons, uh, new wonder weapons. They'll be like, they'll be like love heart traces and that on the. On yeah, the... <laughs> but the, the ray gun, which I thought was already in it, but um, yeah, wonder weapon of the ray gun is coming in zombies. Uh, I, like I say, I thought that was already in it. Take, keep, keep that out of normal war zone. I don't want that for you. <laughs> yeah, imagine. <laughs> imagine just getting slapped across Rebirth Island with a freaking ray gun. You know what it is? This occurred to me the other day, you know, because we've got like Warzone now and it's gotten back into the Modern Warfare phase. And if you remember back to COD 4, that was Modern Warfare. Then you had Modern Warfare 2. Then we started going down the Black Ops and Advanced Warfare route. Yeah. So, I mean, three, maybe two, three games from now, I think we might be seeing a little bit of a rerun down that road, just like the rerun. I hope, the I hope not. Because I um, hated the Advanced Warfare when that games. Comes, Oh god, they were horrible. I hated them with a passion. I literally played it once and gave it away. They tested it. Um, could you imagine that invading Warzone taking away what we've got now, even? And oh, don't, like, don't. Oh, that's I did cross my mind the other day. Let's keep that depressing thought out. <laughs> um, so right. Uh, new weapons as well. The KG M40, which I think is an LMG. Then there's a new assault rifle. The uh, the Whitley or Whiteley, however they want to pronounce it, W H I T L E Y, yeah. um, and then the Ice Axe as well, uh, and two new perks as well, which I'm gonna have to look at to see exactly what these are. Uh, mechanic and Armory. Um, Maybe it'll so... be permanent walls next time. Last time they brought up a perk, it was basically just giving everyone walls. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. New operators, which I'm not overly fussed about, uh, and new bundles: Heartbreaker, Mech Menace, uh, and Pack Leader. Ultra skin bundle, which will probably be invisible. Um, yeah. But yeah, so that, that's that's everything for the new uh, the new update for season two. I guess we'll just have to wait and see what the guns bring. You know, we'll test them and then we'll come back and talk about them then. I guess because at the minute we're firing blind, but uh, there's bound to be a new meta in there somewhere. Oh yeah, well, the, uh, there's a new LMG that looks honestly it looks it looks a little bit like a a, a Bren cross between a Bren uh, and uh, a Bar. That's what it looks like. Yeah. Right, so just to jump back to what you were mentioning, Martin, about uh, Modern Warfare. So um, it's now officially being confirmed. Uh, Call of Duty 2022 is going to be a sequel to Modern Warfare 2019, which we all expect to be called Modern Warfare 2. Um, if they could just literally port Modern Warfare 2, bring that over, update the graphics, don't touch any of the movement uh, ergonomics, then I'll give them 100 quid for it. All day long, yeah. Um, but we know that's not going to happen. Uh, anyway, so they're going to they're going to build a new engine from ground up for the new uh, what we believe Modern Warfare Two and for Warzone Two. So I believe now I've been looking at it, uh, discussing it with people. When they originally brought out the Dansk Warzone, yeah, they brought it out it was roughly round about March time, so middle of season two. Uh, where we'll be was at the moment. Late, was it? Um, late? Yeah, so it was about it was about four months, five months after they actually uh, released yeah, I mean, Modern Warfare. The original, yeah, Modern Warfare came out was like October or something, was it? Yeah. It usually is their normal release date for the game. October, uh, November, yeah. roughly depends when they get it done, isn't it? Yeah. And supposedly this one's going to be earlier as well. They're already in uh, beta release uh, mode. They're, they're at that stage, ready, supposedly. Um, so... Well, how the, you never know. We might actually get a polished uh, Call of Duty game this year. We'll see. Um, yeah. But because the the people are discussing it, are they going to bring it out then? Are they going to do it then? Are they going to bring it out at the end of twenty twenty three? Because they've only just obviously re revamped the whole of Warzone anyway, mm -hmm. um, and they're going to give it roughly just over a year um, on the Caldera map. Whereas obviously we've had uh, we had the dance for a couple of years. Um, so are they going to bring it out roughly about the same time when they brought out the original Warzone or are they going to leave it until later in the year? Me yeah. personally... Go on, go on. 
No, no, no. I, I, you, you go. Well, I was just saying, like, me personally, I don't think they're going to leave it as far as later in the year, 2022, possibly, like, pushing it towards 2023. Cause especially if they're going to build it off the new engine that they're putting into Modern Warfare 2. You, you're yeah. then running into a Black Ops game again. You know what I mean? So I don't think... I think they, I think they'll keep it close. I think they will. Um, yeah. I, I don't... I can't see why they would... I'm so far apart. I mean, I can also, I can kind of in a way, but I don't know. Um, no, I, I, maybe, maybe like I say, four or five months. I think after that game, I, I don't know. It'd be a hard I mean, one to tell, but it could be even closer. It could be like literally. I don't think it will be because they don't want to. I know there's a lot of people that play Warzone anyway, do you know what I mean? Uh, well, there used to be. There's it's a lot of them. I mean, let's face it, people don't play the, the, the core modes quite as much as they used to, do they? They, they don't. don't. But Especially where you, you see streamers are concerned. People don't watch uh, multiplayer anymore, they watch Warzone. So basically, if a, if a Call of Duty can't tie into Warzone, it's going to potentially be undersold. You know what I mean? Like, how yeah. many times do you, like, Warzone season comes out, brings out new guns, you probably might buy that game just to level those guns up in advance, get them ready, you know? Yeah, like, exactly. Like with Vanguard, they're not going to want to release, if anything. I don't know. They're on a bit of a tight schedule, aren't they? They're on a tight schedule, let's face it. They can't exactly delay Call of Duty because well, no. two companies that take terms making them. <laughs> well, they don't want to... Well, they don't want to delay it. They don't want to cause issues with it. I don't think they're going to want to bring... A new Warzone two out too close yeah. to the release of MW two anyway because obviously like you're saying they want people to play that game they want the, yeah, yeah. The, they're gonna want people to the know people know that Modern Warfare two is gonna be the engine for the new Warzone two they're yeah. gonna want to level up all the weapons they're gonna want to get them tested out see what the is gonna be the meta what they think they're gonna how things are gonna work what what what's the actual ergonomics of the game going to be like ready for when they go into into the new war zone? So I don't think they're going to release it too early. I don't think they're going to drop them both roughly around the same time. There's definitely going to be a Michael, space. Michael Daniel in the in the chat there, he just said like they can't really wait too long for the way it is right now. I think that's a good point as well. Not only is it a case that you want it close to the game for the the whole aspect of from a from a marketing perspective, but like definitely, I, I just think you leave this caldera too long. Bringing in some bunkers isn't going to be enough. No. I think if they leave it too long, I believe they're going to lose people. Well, I think they're going to lose. Uh, the, 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 the problem is, right, I think there's a lot of issues with n not just broken within the game. I just think I just don't think the map is good enough. Um, I That's don't... what I mean. It's not, not that it's broken. I just think it's not good enough. It's yeah. just not a good map, really. Yeah. Uh, so bringing in a few bunkers isn't going to be enough. So, no, but, I mean, they could do, they could see how, like I was saying, they might do small updates because uh, and and then make an improvement of in uh, specific areas. But the problem is, there's not enough uh, points of interest within the map to actually make it more of a. a I mean, you could be outside and fight a lot, but you you just cannot see people all the time, and that is a frustrating thing. Yeah, and with yeah. so much of the map being trees, bushes, rocks, hills, mountains. And, and the difficulty of seeing, even up a mountain, like sometimes you struggle, and it's and it's a clean sight of view, view. um, not yeah. not even trying to look through trees and that, um, and yeah, I just think like it. I, I think if if the if they absolutely mango rebirth when they bring up a possible new map for rebirth, uh, in hopefully round about the second half of March, if they mango that right, uh, they're gonna struggle to hold people. Until even another year after that, a, a whole new war zone. I think they're gonna. I think they're gonna. It's gonna be. It'll become the next battlefield. Yeah, yeah. I know. I know. That's it. I mean, yeah. I I, I actually heard a rumor recently, and I don't know if this is true, but that uh, Verdansk could be making a brief return, just as like a little teaser kind of thing, like maybe a weekend. But I did. I heard that might happen. It was through. Uh, I think it was through Halford Sucks's community. Possibly. I, 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 I don't know if they could do that. If they did that, they they had they they're admitting more defeat than what they want to. Mm, maybe, maybe uh, not. Well, they weren't went on about bringing it back, back, but it's just like a taster, or I don't know. Yeah, but imagine, right? Imagine your numbers. I don't know what the numbers are now. Imagine like so, a million people now are playing Warzone, right? And then you yeah. bring the dance back for one weekend, and you're up to five million people playing for that weekend. 
you know what I mean? Yeah. That's admitting defeat, isn't it? When you get when you well, it's also giving them a bit of a okay, will it really make a difference if we brought it back? Oh hell yeah it would. Yeah. Let's get those ball dollars back in, <laughs> baby. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know. We will see. So Yeah. And uh, the, the the struggle is for them at the moment, uh, and you can clearly see it as probably saying their numbers have fallen massively. I know uh, and yourself, uh, streamers that have completely just left wars on and now doing stuff like uh, Euro Truck Simulator, Grand Theft Auto, um, what other, Farming Simulator, um, and even finding GTA other, RP, even finding other BRs, people, streamers, and and probably a lot of players uh, like just general gamers um, are moving away from it and, and trying to find other games, which is good. Yeah. And in one way, is good sense because if 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 people are getting pulled away from it, then there's going to be more other content outside of Warzone that is um uh, that should be made available. Um, yeah. And people are then going to look at it and think, actually, BRs might not be the, the, the be all and end all, and we need to look at other things. So. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Here's, here's another little, uh, little spin on the old topic, though. Uh, what do we think of the old uh, Xbox? Or was it Blizzard, isn't it? Uh, Battle.net being bought out. What? So Microsoft buying Activision Blizzard for £68.7 yeah, billion. Pounds. Yeah. yeah. But I've what, just what, looked what, at their, uh, what they've bought. What does that mean for your PlayStation players? You know what I'm saying? Well, I think we should just sack Sony altogether, get rid of PlayStation, um, and just make everybody come across to... No, I'm only joking. I'm, I'm only joking. Um... I, I think it's good. I think it's good for the industry. I think it's good for gamers. Uh, and hopefully Xbox follow through with what they're saying, saying that they need PlayStation as much as PlayStation need Xbox. As the much as... Man. Yeah, exactly. Do you know what I mean? If you don't have the competition, then you, you don't have... Pe you, you, the companies aren't pushing each other to try and get the best content that they can create and get it out yeah. there for us uh, uh, as gamers though, to I fill out a Facebook with. Is it the, well, I say exclusives. It's not much of an exclusive, is it? It's just certain perks that PlayStation currently get that maybe might start coming our way now. Well, again, they've yeah. they've had them since the beginning of the PlayStation Four, and we're what we're yeah. eight, nine, eight, nine, nearly nine, nearly ten years in since the PlayStation Four was uh, released. So they've had it. They've had it quite some time. Uh, yeah, it's our turn. It's our yes, turn. Yes, it's our get turn. Off it. Get off. <laughs> Um, it already takes me two goddamn days to download this update. My internet's not good enough. Well, that, I need it early. <laughs> that, that used to annoy me, but uh, I've moved into a new new property now, and uh, they have to, by law, put in one gigabit internet speed. So sorry to everybody out there that has not got it, but unlucky I have, and it's amazing. Um, so, uh, yeah, Microsoft buying uh, Activision Blizzard for what is an absolutely astronomical amount of money. Um, especially when you go back and look at how I mean, obviously they they're, they're buying a lot more here. Do you know what I mean? But I remember a number of years ago when they bought um, Minecraft uh, for two point five billion, and we're like, oh, that's a massive amount of money. And then they're going. Fair, Minecraft was mint. Minecraft, well, Minecraft it still is, and it's still it. I for such. It's a guilty pleasure for some. <laughs> yes, definitely. <laughs> I, it, it definitely used to be. Um, uh, and the the one about Anna, it's exclusivity. Would it be? I, I doubt it. I highly, I highly do. Excuse me. I highly do doubt it. I don't think they're uh, they're going to make it exclusive to Xbox and, and PC. Yeah. No, no, definitely not. Definitely not. There'd be way too much money lost. I mean, I had I heard people saying, "Oh yeah, oh that means uh, PlayStation's not going to be getting any more." That what do you think they're going to do? Do you think they'll try and crush the competition by not letting them have it? There's no chance in hell that will happen, you know. It, the money it will be lost. When, when, when you look at other games, think we could see we could see those early uh, like download releases coming to us though. Maybe a few twenty four hour or forty eight hour early releases on maybe certain things, skins, guns, potentially who knows. I think there could be some of that sort of thing, but then there's no way that PlayStation would lose it. I, I it's it, it's such a large. Triple A game and that sells so many copies. I just don't think any, any anyone's right mind would think that it would go. Um, uh, what do you call it? Um, uh, exclusive to Xbox. 
other ones that they bought, so like they bought Bethesda, didn't they? Some of those games, which aren't as huge as what Call of Duty is, it looks like they're going to go exclusive. But they're little, little exclusives that might entice people to come across yeah. um, to Xbox or to PC. Yeah, I think buy that's, them on the there. that's where the competition element comes in. It just means that if someone goes, right, hmm, you've got those casual gamers who have one console, but you've got like you know, avid gamers who might have both anyway. But if it means they get something extra for buying it on an Xbox or a PC rather than a PlayStation, they're more likely to do that. Then there's the repeat sales through your skins, through your battle passes, etc. That all, you know, the slice of the pie goes down that road instead of. So that's where your competition really lies. I'll not take it away from a platform, but it definitely means a big thing for the for Microsoft Empire, as it were. Yeah. Right. So uh, I think that's that's obviously the deal. The deal hasn't been uh, completed yet. Um, looking at it, financial year twenty twenty three. So anywhere between July twenty twenty two and yep. June twenty twenty three is when they're looking at this being completed. So at the moment, Activision is just going to run uh, as it as it as it does at the moment, um, and eventually yep. when xbox as they microsoft xbox as they see it they believe it is going to go through there's going to be no um nothing's going to stop that from happening um that's roughly when it's going to be completed um yeah. and obviously the activision have got a lot of issues at the moment haven't they? they've got a lot of problems going uh themselves really? um and one is the um the ceo who got paid 155 million last year for his position at activision and it looks like he's going to be replaced just because of all the stuff that's been going on there at the moment anyway. Um, yeah. But do you know how much he gets? How much he gets if he gets replaced? Whether he gets replaced because uh, they just want to get rid of him or because Microsoft buying him out and then it's a change of circumstances and he has to go anyway, he then would get, I mean, it's roughly round about another £260 million pound payout. How mental is that? that that's that's just, the same. Nuts in it, absolutely mental. Paid out, even though you're bad at your job anyway, we'll pay you out <laughs> nearly double yeah, yeah. what your wages are. I don't know. Which is Regular folk type, right? We decide you're bad at your job, we're going to sack you, but uh, you know, here's a few million. Okay. Yeah. Just, you know, I know it's not yeah. a lot, but you know. All right, for some. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, oh, man. Right, he's, uh, he's a big one. Uh, so this is on the Call of Duty.com blog, uh, was on Patch Notes. Um, Addressing top community uh, requests. Now, this has been a big one, um, and I understand why. Because I, I, when you're on a console and you don't you, you don't see it or you don't use it or anything like that, it doesn't really bother you that much. Um, but as you've seen it more and more, the streamers are putting it out there more and more. More people are coming across to um, PC and that as well. Um, and the promise was there that they're going to try and put it on was FOV sliders on consoles. Oh, yes. Yeah, big, uh, big controversial topic currently on the old FOV. Yes. Um, yeah, that that's. Well, <sighs> here's the thing with it: the game currently, as it stands, is for Xbox three, three sixty. Fuck me down. Uh, Xbox One, PlayStation Four, PlayStation Five, and Xbox Series X. Your Series X and your PlayStation Five are more than capable, I believe, of handling a higher field of view uh, on a, such a large map as. Caldera and, and on the world one in general, so but the older ones aren't. I mean, I, I, as you see, we've touched upon earlier. I turned my Xbox on recently. I tried to uh, play the game, and rendering certain things is just problematic. And that's on a field of view of eighty. The GPU demand to turn that up, it just would not handle it. So, uh, yeah, that's not going to come in. Well, and that, it, it's, officially, it's, 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 go on. I was just going to say, I think that's a shame. It's a, it's a shame because the newer hardware, you've got all these people with that uh, with the new hardware capable of doing it and they're going to be held back. Well, that's another thing, isn't it? Is Warzone 2 going to be uh, next-gen exclusive? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. I think it will. I don't so think that's where... Be. But the, 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 only problem, the only problem is, is getting hold of the actual next-gen uh, consoles at the moment as well. People are still struggling with it and people are still going to scalpers... To, to actually buy them and i actually seen one in my local area the one uh, so to sell on facebook and they blatantly blatantly said like oh we've uh, uh we do i think they were after however much money it was another hundred quid on top of how much it was and they're like oh when did you buy it oh we bought it a week ago 
why sell it already? Well, because people can't get hold of them, so we're selling it for more than what we bought it for. And blatantly said it on there. And I was just like, it's just disgusting. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I understand why people do it, but the singular ones, and maybe it's not as bad, but it's when the scalpers were buying up, were bulk buying them, um, yeah, yeah. and then selling them at, at stupid prices. Um, is that still going to be an issue in a year's time when they bring out Wars on to Well, you, you know, you'd think after one year of the consoles being out, it wouldn't be, but it's, here we are, <laughs> and it is. Yeah. You know, my friend uh, recently bought one the other day, and um, he checked the stock in Argos, and it was gone as quick as that. He got one of them, but it was by the time he got there and he drove straight there, it was yeah. gone. Yeah, it's mental. Yeah. Um, but, so... Uh, yeah, Pop Pop Poppy's just saying there that, you know, about, oh, it's unfair about the old generation f off it's uh, just want to put it in the new generation i believe poppy's uh eager to get all over the field of view slider but the thing is what you're talking about there is a whole new set of scripts i think encoding for two versions of the same game are they going to spend that money in time of course they're not and so you unfortunately you're just not i don't think you're going to get it ever in warzone you will get it possibly and probably in warzone too and i think that's why there's a potentially going to even be a Warzone 2 because they could just keep updating this one forever and a day as I say it's not the same game as it was it's effectively a whole new game now Yeah. but there is those hardware aspects that you know if, if they don't they can't just suddenly go oh by the way PlayStation 4 and uh, Xbox uh, 1 uh, we decided for season 3 of uh, Warzone you just can't have it anymore just so they can have it you know what I mean so I think that's probably why they're going to bring out a second one just to keep up with the times. Well, just to just to read it off the actual patch notes, uh, Martin, just so they're uh, fully aware on what they on what they say. Field of view sliders on console is one of the top community requests. Adding yeah. field of view on console in Warzone creates a major performance impact for all gen console players. Our well, goal is for Warzone to be performant experience on all platforms, so we do not plan to implement an FOV slider on console at this time. So that's straight from I mean, the horse's mouth. Definitely, def yeah, no, a hundred percent. That it, it, it's that's what I mean. If you did it, it would lo you'd lose out. The smaller consoles can't have it, and it's a it, the go the consoles wouldn't run properly. The game wouldn't run properly. So you've got to try and create that smooth game experience for everyone. You know, that, that's well, that. I, I, I get that. Imagine the uproar if they went, oh, here you go, Xbox Series X and PS Five owners. There's an FOV slider. The rest of is. Your consoles aren't good enough. You're not getting one. Imagine that. Well, the thing, that's the thing. They couldn't put it in because if they put it in, it would it would go in on all of them. I think. I'm quite sure. You, 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 unless you built a second version in a game, which again, time and money. Yeah. They're not gonna do. Of course, they're not going to do. You know, unless we put that time into the new was or in a new version of it. You know. Yeah. Um. But yeah, to be honest with you, though, FOV is one of those nice to haves, and don't get me wrong, there is benefits to it for sure. Um, but. I think a lot of people are under this false illusion that with the FOV, I'll see more people, so I'll get more kills, I'll be better at the game. It's just not the case. No, it isn't. You know I mean, yeah. I mean, you've got, like, look at some of the streamers who actually still actively pay console. I mean, I, as you know, I watch Y8. Y8 only recently changed to a PC to play in Warzone, and within a year, of, I think last year, um, he was cracked at playing the game, and then he suddenly moved to PC, and he was like, whoa, look at the benefit. And he saw it all, but he was still popping out the same amount of kills. Matt Laff, he's another one. He still, to this day, uses an Xbox. I, I'm Blade. pretty sure Mali13 as well. I think he uses an Xbox PlayStation. He, yeah. So, yeah, yeah, I mean, you watch him run around. He looks slow and things because he's using a console. He's on field of view of 80. But he's a cracked player. I enjoy watching him. He's got some good content. I like it. And he does well. So, you know, for all y'all out there feeling a little bit down over the whole fact you can't see a bit more, it, oh, it only knocks your aim assist anyway. Don't worry, you're not missing out, really. There you go. Just a little bit of soft. Yeah, I mean, I, I literally, you, it, sometimes you might catch somebody I, on a on a whim off the corner of your eye that you, you, you probably yeah. just wouldn't have got on an, on an 80 field of view that you will get on maybe like a one one or five one ten. 110. Um, but the, the rest of it, really, honestly, I... I I've, I've I've not that long really. I've, it's only I've only been on PC what six months, um, and I wouldn't say I was any better. I've I've actually went back and played on an Xbox before um, the update from Verdansk, uh, and I was playing on on Rebirth, and I was dropping more kills on my Xbox than I was on yeah, my PC. Yeah. 
Um, and obviously oh, the field of view was different. I played it on the Xbox Series X the day and I was slapping the, I was slapping some good shots. I was quite shocked. I was like, I didn't... Say I struggled to move from one system to the other. I can get used to it again. But when I first go on it, it's like, oh, it, it feels weird and then I can't... It takes me a bit of time to adjust, but uh, I surprisingly jumped onto it and I felt quite comfortable fairly quick. It's weird, isn't it? Because it's basically... It, you're just jumping from a computer to a computer... I, it, it's I know, the exact I same Poppy game. That, saying that Poppy, uh, Poppy Gamer, who I play with regularly, she, uh, she jumps between a PC and, and console. I don't know how she does it, but I struggle. Yeah, and she's saying she's been playing on a PC as well, as her old Gato uh, stream, uh, stream uh, device is broken and she's doing worse. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's right, no, it's like 100%. So that that's what I mean. You get used to one and you go back on the PC. The f- like saying you have field of view, brilliant, but it does change your aim assist. It really does. It takes a while yeah. to learn it again. I mean, I remember when I was running one twenty field of view, and I thought, you know what, it's. I heard one ten was the sweet spot. Now I'd got that used to one twenty. I put it on one ten. I suddenly wouldn't shoot again. It changes it. It really does. I mean, there's a. I think they actually installed an update where they included a slider, um, where you could change your field of view to like a dynamic. Or something like it was dynamic or original, something like that. So for those with higher field of view, you could almost refocus your area of where the aim assist would work because the window became too big for a smaller object. So something like that. Uh, well, yeah. I, since since the new since the new map, I I just cannot get my aim down properly. I just cannot do it. It's my horizontal as well. I've had it normally. My horizontal and vertical uh, aim speed is the same. It's always been the same. Previously, it used to be higher, but I've had to lower it um, gradually as I've been going through wars, and I just think it 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 is easier with a lower. But I've even had to lower my horizontal speed now again because I just yeah. cannot get it. It just feels jaggy all the time, and I don't know what it yeah. is. Yeah, I've actually um, found with I use the Xbox Series uh, Elite Two um, controller. Had uh, yeah. So what I've actually done is I've tweaked the physical controller settings and I've lowered my aim um, sensitivity in the game down to about seven actually now. Yeah. And I can still spin on someone quickly. Yeah. But I feel like I've got so much more control with it now and I've got much better movements with it. So I swear to God, the day this pad breaks, I'll be buying another one straight away. I best save up 160 quid and keep that in my back pocket because I can't play without it now. I tried going back to the normal pad the other day. <laughs> my feet are just spamming all over. <laughs> Looking for paddles. I'm like, whoa, where is it? I'm trying yeah. to jump around corners and that, and I can't. It. And you think about the time it takes to press A, jump, go around the corner, then aim down maybe B and start trying to like crouch. You know, how, how are these nanoseconds count? They all count, you know what I mean? Um, <laughs> can't do it anymore. <laughs> So just a, a, another quick rundown season two of the actual um, planner for what the uh, game plans are going to be. Um, so week commencing February 14th, so season two update yeah. week. Monday. Um, from Monday, Caldera is going to have Vanguard Royale, Solos, Duos, Trios, Quads, Battle Royale, Quads only, Plunder, Quads only, and a new game mode called Clash 50v50. So it's another um, a team death match type one, know that they brought in on uh, on the dance, where they had a bit yeah. of the map and it was like a fifty fifty uh, team death match. I think it's somewhat similar to that, but there's slight differences to it. Um, but that's what the um, that's what the playlist is going to look like for Caldera uh, from Monday, and then Rebirth is going to be uh, duos, trios, and quads, uh, all of that. Rebirth and Iron, Iron Trials as well. I've got. Yeah. Uh, so I don't think that comes out until the week of March the 3rd. Is it really? Because it ties it down for the original February 4th release here, and obviously it's changed. Yeah, so oh, I've, I've got a Season 2 uh, from Raven Software uh, okay. that they put out uh, yesterday. Go on, spot on. Uh, oh, look what they're doing it. That's what, that's what it's going to do. Like, say, I'm Trials, which will be duos, uh, doesn't come in until uh the week commencing third of march but a week later as well so the week commencing was well, 10 days later actually uh week commencing 24th i don't know how to work that out or the week of february 24th not week commencing 
uh, Vanguard Royale will go to quads, and then the Battle Royale will go to uh, Solo Shields, Trails, and quads, uh, as it way the company is at the moment. Yeah. Um, and everything, right. everything else will stay the same until, like, say, a week of the first, March the 3rd when Iron Trials will come in. But we're still going to keep the standard resurgence as well with the duo trials and quads. Um, yeah. Underneath that, it also mentions as well, so the, the re redeployed balloons, the underground weapon labs, and the new equipment uh, is available from February the 14th, so from Monday. Um, then the armoured convoys, so we never spoke about this earlier, Martin, but there's going to be armoured convoys that go around, like big, big armoured trucks. They're carrying... Nebula, gas, bombs, whatever they want to call it, the suitcase. Like the old train. Yeah, like the old train. But this, you can actually destroy it. Um, but yeah. when you're in the vicinity of it, trying to destroy it, it's going to have gun turrets on it, which will then try and kill you. And when you reduce its life to below a certain limit, I don't know what that limit is, it doesn't mention it, it'll then call in air support as well um, mm. to try and keep it alive. If you do blow up, um, you can get, obviously, equipment from it and the possibility of getting that nebula... Uh, v5 case gas thing whatever the, whatever it may be um so they come out on there though it states that the nebula v bombs in transit don't come until the march the first so whether they're going to be in the armor convoys or not i don't know um but no, okay. it's going to be what there's going to be two weeks two and a half weeks of, of rolling this out um for the new uh, season to update yeah um, yeah yeah, and then and then we just after that we're just waiting uh for Rebirth Island to see what this is gonna look like. Yeah, we'll see what we'll see what happens there. If it comes back with a few tweaks or whether we get the whole new one, we'll see. Um so it's gonna be it, 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 at the moment it's mentioned as called Rebirth Reinforced Map Update. That's what they're calling it at the moment. There should be some changes, I think. I don't think we're gonna see a new Rebirth Island until the new game, maybe. Yeah, maybe he's leading another season ahead again. I could be wrong, but I, I feel like that's probably what will happen. We'll see but changes. The, 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 the thing is, nobody's uh, really nobody's really calling for any changes to Rebirth at the moment because it works no, so well. It, it's kind of the saving grace, really. It's like, yeah. ha, Caldera, let's go back to it. Is it still knackered or still don't like it? Right, yeah, we'll go back to Rebirth. At least yeah. you've got an option. Yeah, we'll see. On Monday, I think they're really going to be trying to force Caldera on everyone's neck again by the sounds of it then if they're getting rid of Rebirth <laughs> for a bit. No, no, Rebirth is there. Rebirth's still there. And it's, it's, is it? Because uh, I, I thought that Monday was checking it out. No, no, no. It's 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 still in. Hold on, let me bring it up. Where's it at? Um, uh, I've lost it now. They, they do do that occasionally. Uh, I did have it. Oh, here we go. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, Resurgence, Duos, Trials and Quads is going to be in all the time. Uh, it's it's the week commencing March the third. We then get the Iron Trials duos on Rebirth Island, but it's in it's in all the time. Stay the same, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. Well, that'll be good news for you there, Michael, because I think he was off. there. Hold on, let me just have a check of. Um... No, that looks alright on my end. What's up? Uh, people are saying it's froze. Yeah, no, it's just the browser. Yeah, I keep up the same issue with mine. It's I just refresh the browser, and then it, it fixes it. But, yeah, we think it's just the browser people. So if you just uh, it, if you see this again, then uh, uh, just refresh your screen. Yeah, man. Yeah, cheers, people. Thanks for letting us know. Um, but yeah, we've got uh, the same issue on our end. We just refresh the browser and it comes back up. Kush. So. I think that's is that everything covered? I think that's everything. I think that's everything covered. Um, obviously, as as we move forward, we will um, we will capture. Uh, we'll definitely be in. Definitely get into Caldera. We've got to test this yeah. these things out. Um, so we'll see how the new season two affects the gameplay. How these new uh, uh, the things that we're putting into the into the map uh, are going to affect it. Um, is it going to be positive, negative? Um, yeah, we'll just yeah. we'll just bash it out. Well, see that's what, it for what you, content for creators. Then that's uh, that's what we need to be focused on. Get uh, see what the new stuff is. Get it out there. Get a good bit of experience. Come back to the conversation for the next one, and we'll talk about what we don't like next. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, no, we have we have spoke about positive stuff. Do you know what I mean? No, Rebirth Island is good. 
Yeah, we're and done. Caldera is shit now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's all good, man. It's all good. We'll, we'll, it'll be good. Um, right, yes. So, um, catch me live on Tuesday for Shao. I won't be playing it on Monday. It's Valentine's Day. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so, I will be playing it Monday. Uh, I, think, <laughs> I think my partner's watching. Um, we we do we do stuff each month anyway. We go out. Uh, we do like a special thing each month. So we go and do what technically some sort of Valentine's Day every month anyway. And yeah. um, so we're not really going to celebrate uh, Valentine's Day too hard. And Monday is I'll a stream night for me. I'll just be doing an, uh, an update for me, man. It's been yeah. <laughs> So you can catch me live, Digipeak Gaming, Monday. We'll see what this season two is going to be like, I'm sure. Uh, Martin, a.k.a. Dr. Beard Gaming, will be live on Tuesday, and you can catch him and see what the season two and what he thinks of it then. Yeah. Um, but otherwise, from that, uh, every I may Saturday... Briefly, I may briefly see you all tomorrow evening. We'll see, uh, you know, get get a little bit of uh, the last season out the way just before the change over. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. And uh, we'll 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 see you again soon for another bullets and banter episode. Come back uh, in and, and get get all the hate back before Monday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah. Uh, so as Martin said, there uh, bullets and banter back again then um, on Saturday. Uh, we're going to be doing this every week. Um, at the moment, obviously, we're discussing Call of Duty Warzone is obviously a huge thing, and and a lot of people lives were were streaming and gaming and that at the moment. Um, but we will venture into other games. Uh, so keep an eye out for that, and we'll. We'll, we'll we'll put updates out to uh, uh, keep everybody informed of what's going on. Um, but I think I think that's all for me, Martin. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm down. I'm happy. I'm happy. We'll we'll, we'll cover off the next topic the next time. Yeah, definitely. Right. Just like uh, 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 if y'all well, don't I, mind, did just I, before we go, I yeah, do I was... need to shout it out. Let's get the shares. Let's get the likes. Let's get the um. Make sure you drop in those explanation mark notifies into the page. Um, as well, so next time we are live, you will see it just straight away pop up. Um, there's going to be copies going out onto YouTube as well, which we're going to obviously we'll get those uh, links out and get them shared when that happens. Yes, um, definitely. So this obviously this is called a podcast. Uh, it will be. We are currently building um, our web page where we can then do an RSS feed, um, which will put us uh, straight onto all the podcast platforms. So you can catch us on. Uh, Spotify, iTunes, Google Podcasts. Uh, we'll get it out there as much as we can. Um, so if you miss an episode, you can listen in the car, you can listen in the shower, anywhere you go and walking down the street to the shop, you can listen like that. Um, or if you do miss an episode but want to actually uh, watch the um, the the content back, because as, obviously as we grow, as this podcast grows, and um, we'll bring more to the more to the channel, um, and 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 see how far we can take this and, and get people involved. Whether that be just general That's gamers, right. Yeah, that's one of the things. Yeah, we're gonna th- we will be looking to start getting guests in too to really build on the conversation. So um, that'll be good, obviously, for um, uh, viewers. Well, it'll just, it'll just be nice to get. It'll just be nice to get the other perspectives as well. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Because it's nice to hear what we think, but we want to hear what other people think, and then we'll, uh, you know, again, we'll make it as interactive as possible. The chat have been great tonight. We've had people coming in, dropping in their opinions, contributing to the conversation. We'll get more of that. We'll get a few guests in here and there. The guests will do the same, and so will their communities, and we can really try and build on a mint little thing here, you know? Yeah, I think it's going to be really good. Um, I, I, And like I said, it's all about the community. We're going to be building it. Obviously, I really do appreciate everybody coming in. Um. Uh, and Super Mami are there saying, do you have an email where we can send questions and topics to talk about? It's definitely something that we will put out. Um, we're just, we we are building this from the ground up. We've set up our own emails. Um, so they're going to be personalized to obviously Bolts and Banter. Same with the web page. Eventually that will be up and running. Yeah. Um, and we will put all that information out. Because as we say, this is definitely going to be a community-based thing. Um, and Ciao. we will, and we'll, having uh, questions and topics to talk about, uh, whether that just be maybe it's a community day where we just sit and have a chat with you and discuss how you are finding things, games that you want to talk about, um, and then we can get all these questions and topics, uh, get, them, get them in, and we can get that put, put planning for that and get that going. That would be fantastic. Nice. Right, that's it. it yeah, is. that's it. Right, let's go. So, see you all in the games, on yeah. the battlefield, <laughs> or 
in the city, you never know. <laughs> yeah, and, and we'll see you in Verdansk in a few weeks when it's back. <laughs> so, right, anyways, massive thanks from me, people. Really do appreciate it. We've absolutely smashed it this evening with reactions, comments, and shares. Uh, and, and we've had really good viewership. Uh, really, really do appreciate it. It's our first ever podcast. I think it has went down an absolute storm. I've really enjoyed it. I don't know about you, Martin. Yep, been buzzing. Been oh, buzzing. Buzzing. That is definitely a word to use. Buzzing. Right. Anyways, people, as I say, massive thank you. And we will see you all next Saturday, 5 p.m. sharp. Cheers, everyone. Watch out. Bye. Bye.